With the rapid expansion of 5G, operators are looking for efficient and scalable ways to deploy their networks and provide the best services for their customers. By virtualizing the network, operators can do just that as it brings flexibility and agility to efficiently manage services and optimize operator networks. I'm joined by June, who heads our R&D team, and Billy, Solutions Manager for Samsung Networks Europe, to talk about Samsung's VRAN strategy and how Samsung is collaborating with operators to manage their networks efficiently. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. June, can you briefly explain Samsung's virtualized RAN journey? Well, Samsung has been a long time advocate of virtualized RAN. We successfully disaggregated and virtualized the central unit in 2018, soon followed by the base band, which was our VRAN 1.0. We also expand our radio portfolio, so our VLAN can support maximum radios, FTD radios, and indoor solutions with our VLAN 2.0. We are providing our VLAN solution to global K1 operators around the world, in North America, Europe, and Asia, and we are the only major vendor with successful mass VLAN deployment. For example, in the US, we have successfully deployed the C-band maximum radios with our VLAN solution, and we have deployed over 10,000 VRAN commercial sites. And now we are ready to introduce VRAN 3.0. Wow, we're already on the third iteration. How is VRAN 3.0 different from current generations? With our next generation VRAN, operators can now deploy 5G, 4G, and 2G through a common platform. We are currently testing to support all three radio access technologies through a single video and we expect that it will be commercialized later this year. In addition, Samsung is ready with accelerator cards that can significantly increase the capacity of our grid use. Furthermore, with our latest grid app, our operators can flexibly configure and scale their networks according to dynamic real-time traffic. And we are also reducing power consumption by controlling the CPU core level to make our grid solution greener. Samsung is a, truly a leader in VLAN technology, and we are always working to continuously evolve our solution by investing heavily in our R&D endeavors and also collaborating with leading customers. That is very impressive. But as VRAN disaggregates the hardware from software, and it involves things like loading software onto COT servers, it drives collaboration with diverse companies, including hardware, OS, CPU, and manufacturers. How is Samsung managing this complexity? I can jump in, Kaylee. We're working with diverse companies and creating strategic partnerships to provide the best of breed solutions for our customers. This includes server, cloud platform, CAS, CPU, and public cloud companies who are collaborating to create the most optimal solution for network operators. Samsung is definitely leading VRAN commercial and technical advancements, and I can't wait to see what's to come.